and welcome back to Bransford Webs. This week you join us in glass house 7 and 8 and behind me you can see our Ostrom area ink crop. Um, we stopped here because over the last 2-3 weeks um, as the weather temperatures started warming up we've really ramped up our biological control um, methods across the nursery. So you've seen in a lot of our um, sustainability handbook everything that we've published earlier in the year. If you haven't, click on the website um, to have a look at that. But our primary method of um, pest and disease control in the nursery um, is biological controls these days. Um, we've reduced our chemical usage right down to the bare minimum and only use it as a last resort. So as the temperatures go up, we can start increasing the levels of beneficial insects in the glass houses and tunnels around the nursery um, and we can keep on top of that pest and disease pressure that we might face as they start um, coming out of um, the winter phases and um, coming to adult stages. So you've got a um, Enemix, which is a um, white fly control. So that's been put out last week and you can see, I was getting close to the camera, you'll see on there um, all those little eggs, nail all hatch out and populate the glass house. And um, yeah, keep on top of any white fly levels that we might have around the place. But it's a really um, sustainable way of controlling our pest and disease around the place, not broadband spectrum um, chemical spraying and doing it in an ethical way that means the plants that arrive with you have been grown as good as possible but will arrive in the best possible condition as well. So that's a bit about what's going on in the nursery. On to um, next week. So we've got Easter weekend coming up. At the moment the weather is looking quite nice for the weekend so hopefully um, the great British public will be out and gardening over the weekend and um, into the garden centres. But we're thinking about the week after now, stocking up to fill those gaps you, you create over the Easter weekend. So, quick run through what we've put online for this week. So I'm going to start here with Spirea Double Play Gold. Cracking variety this. As you see, really golden leaf. Um, nice, tight, compact habit. And doesn't scorch either. Nice pink flower as well later on. But really for me, this is for its foliage at this time of year. Um, so that's Spirea Double Play Gold. A couple of new hebes online this week. Here's Starlight. Lovely um, cream and green variegated one. Just flushing it through, it's out of its winter trim. Um, really nice again, bushy plant and looking really good. And then to complement that as well, we've put the last of the magic colours varieties on this week. We've put Burning Heart on. So this is an improved version of Heartbreaker. As you can see, really vivid, almost neon pink um, new growth on the um, leaves there. Really stand out. And actually, the frost we've had over the last couple of nights really help intensify that colour. So we do need the cool nights just to keep these colours going on the foliage. Um, yeah, looking really good. That's Hebe Burning Heart. Um, maintaining the shrub theme for the time being, so we have got Lavender Provence. I've nearly got that wrong. I've been calling it Essence all morning, but um, that's coming in a few weeks. So again, British grown, grown here at Bransford on the nursery. Um, that's Lavender um, Provence. Really nice, bushy plants. New growth just coming out. Really solid. And a cracking, actually, cracking English lavender variety. So I'll look out for that on the availability list. And then the last shrub before going to herbaceous, is Convolvulus neorum. So as always, that lovely silvery foliage, nice dense habits in neorum as well. And it's just loading itself up with flower bud as well. So it's really gonna flush through over the next few weeks and really gonna show those um, large white flowers really standing out on the bench. Now, on to um, herbaceous. And this is the, the one key plant for me this week. Um, it's new introduction. Excuse that, that's broken off on there. Um, new introduction for 2023. This is Nemesia Peaches and Cream. And we've done this in conjunction with Perennial, um, the horticultural charity. So for every plant that we sell, we'll donate 40 plants to Perennial. And also, as you can see, we've got the Perennial logo on there. So hopefully everyone on the plant here find out a bit more about Perennial. They truly are the charity that help us. They help our industry and anybody working in our industry, working with plants, whether you're a gardener, um, a... Um, grounds maintenance person, you're working a plant area, you're a nurseryman, uh, or you're a tree surgeon, anything, any of those sort of jobs they'll help with. So it really is worth just Googling perennial and finding out what they do, because you never know, you may know someone who could do with their help at some point. But Namisha Peaches and Cream is a cracking introduction, alone, let alone um, anything linked to perennial. Um, it's got a large um, pink flower with a yellow centre, so it was a spot from con confetti, so you'll see some similarities, but the flower is larger than confetti and there's a much more yellow centre to it. And certainly when that is going outside, you can see the distinct difference between the two flower types on there. So, yeah, check that out on the availability. Good numbers online for next week and a really good cause that that's raising money for. So that's Namisha Peach and Cream, definitely one to look out for next week. 
Um, we've now got online uh, some Nepitas. So we've put online Persian Blue and this one is Cat's Pajamas. Again, overwintered plants, so really solid crown formation in there. And the flower buds are just starting to open. That's going to be a real show winner. With the warmer temperatures through this week, I expect to romp on and be in full flower by the time it arrives in garden centres next week. These were about that big a week ago, so really, really starting to grow with the warmer daytime temperatures. And um, so we've also got, there's a more A to Z in the Peter. We've got the Peter Junior Walker online as well. Again, nice compact habit, really good variety, cracking garden variety too, to perform really well. And then last but not least, some one litre plants, and I'll put them all together, we've got our Phlox collection online. So we have got McDaniel's cushion at the top there, loaded in bud and just starting to show colour. Um, to your left as you're looking at, we've got Bedazzled Lavender, again smothered in bud. And then the ever popular one, Candy Stripes, down here. Again, absolutely plastered in bud. So by the time that arrives in garden centres next week, that's going to be showing some really good colour. So that's it for this week. I just remains to, sorry, my teeth back in. Just remains for me to say, good luck with Easter. Um, may the sunshine, may the customers come out, and may Great Britain get gardening. But until next week, goodbye for now. <laughs>